Okay, so today's number talk is going to be 12 times 18. So I'm going to give you some thinking time. You know how to indicate to me when you're ready and you have a strategy, or maybe two or three, or you know, because you're math geniuses. So here's our question, and uh, I'll be looking for your hand signals. Okay, do we have answers? Anybody? Okay, well, that you can help us with that, okay? Okay, so how about answers? Actual answers, anybody? Shauna? Um, I think it's 216. 216. Ty? 216. So you agree? Okay, how do you guys feel? Um, 216. Oh. 260. Oh, okay. All right, so what's the next step that we usually take? Uh, we estimate it. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We can, we choose, uh, round it up, we choose, like, we do 10 times 10, equal 18. 10 times 10, 20. 20 okay. equals 200. Okay, so that is our what? Estimate. Right. Estimate, okay, equals 200. And what are we going to find now? Our actual amount. Our actual amount, okay. So, anybody want to share a strategy? I just remembered it from yesterday. Okay. Do you have a strategy, Ty? I yes. can tell. Okay, so tell me where we're starting. We're starting at 18. On like the hundred chart. Starting at eighteen on the hundred chart. Yes. Okay. And then we're gonna skip twenty-seven because eight, eighteen plus eighteen is thirty-six. Okay. And we'll skip the next number. You okay. Keep on going down. Because the next number will be fifty-four, seventy-two, and then ninety. Okay. And then. Um. Trying to think what okay. Was. So. So we have 90, okay? Oops. It would be five, five times in that. Five times 18. Five times 18 equals? 90. Yep. Okay. So using the 100 chart, what did you do? We skipped every other number. Okay. Uh, what is that called? Skip. Uh, one. Skipping by two. Skip. What is that called when you skip one number? I'm trying to think of the name. Uh. Skip counting. Skip counting. Skip counting, right? Start at 18. Skip to 36. Okay. So using the hundred chart. You said we skip counted. counted, yep. By by eighteens. Okay. All right. So then you did five skip counts, right? Yeah. By eighteen, which was ninety. And then what did you do? Then you have to do it again. Okay. So it's five times eighteen again. Then you have ninety. Equals 90, okay, yep. And then we have two left, means then you would get 36 times 18, you get 36. Okay. Then you would add up the two 90s. Okay, so the two 90s are what? 180. Is 180, yep. What's that called when you add two of the same? Adding addition. Doubles. Doubles, okay. All right, and then you have this, so where do we go? You, uh, you do 180 plus 36, 36 equals 216. Very good. Okay, does anybody have another strategy? 
No. You said you had another strategy. <laughs> Any other way to solve it? Uh, you can break the numbers down. Sure. How are we going to do that, Nice. Uh, you can do 10 uh, times 10. 10 times 10? Then you can do 2 times... 10 times 10? Equals 100. Mm -hmm. Then you can do 2 times 18. Thirty-six, and you um, I agree, I disagree. Can you explain more about Okay, so Ty, you disagree. Yeah. So what can we change or what can we add? To this? Um, can I think of it? What do you think? 10 times 18. Okay, so instead you want to do 10 times 18 mm -hmm. equals what? 100, 180? Sure. Two times eighteen. Awesome, Mace. Equals thirty-six. Okay. Then now, you would add thirty-six plus one hundred and eighty. Okay, so thirty-six <laughs> plus one eighty equals two hundred and sixteen. Thank you, Mason. Do we see? You are breaking it down like we do and adding, but remember, it's. 12 groups of 18, okay? And Tyler, good, that was another strategy, awesome. Shauna, I think this is the strategy that you used yesterday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 